the cafe buzzed with life. The aroma of fresh coffee mingling with the sound of laughter and clinking cups. I sat at a corner table, trying to lose myself in the pages of a book, but my mind kept drifting. My heart raced as I caught a glimpse of him. Alex. He was sitting alone at the table next to mine, his dark hair slightly tousled, an intriguing smile playing on his lips. Our eyes met, and for a moment, the world around us faded. What was I doing here, so far from Jake? My husband, who was probably at home, oblivious to the turmoil brewing within me. I felt a chill run through me, a mix of excitement and fear. I was supposed to be enjoying a break from my monotonous life, yet here I was, captivated by a stranger. As I sipped my coffee, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was about to change. Alex's gaze held a question, one that echoed in the silence between us. Did I dare to break free? The unspoken tension hung heavy in the air, and I found myself leaning slightly closer, as if drawn by an invisible force. Care for some company? He asked, his voice smooth and inviting. I hesitated, glancing at my phone, then back at him. I... Um... I'm not sure. Just a chat. I promise I don't bite. His smile widened, and I felt my resolve waver. In that crowded cafe, with the weight of my choices bearing down on me, I knew I was at a crossroads. I often find myself reflecting on my marriage to Jake. A journey that began with pure passion and dreams of eternal love. It's hard to believe that not so long ago, our life together felt like a beautiful adventure. I can still remember those early days, the way Jake would look at me with such intensity, as if I were the only person in the world. We would stay up late, sharing stories and laughter, each moment filled with promise and excitement. I'll always be yours, he would whisper, holding my hand as if he could seal his promise with a touch. But as the years rolled on, that vibrant love began to fade, replaced by an all-too-familiar routine. The mornings turned into a blur of rushed breakfasts and the same old conversations. Did you remember to pick up the dry cleaning? Yes, I'll take care of it. It felt like we were living out a script, repeating lines that had lost their meaning. With each passing day, the spark we once ignited slowly dimmed, and I could sense the distance growing between us. It wasn't just the mundane tasks that drained our connection. The little arguments that once seemed trivial became a regular part of our lives. Why didn't you call me? I would ask, frustration creeping into my voice. I told you I was busy, Jake would reply, his tone matching my irritation. We fell into a pattern of bickering, where every little annoyance was magnified. I often found myself thinking, is this really what love has become? As time passed, I started to feel trapped in a relationship that no longer filled me with joy. I longed for the excitement of new experiences, the thrill of being truly seen. The laughter we once shared felt like a distant memory, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I was losing myself in the process. I would sit on the couch, watching Jake scroll through his phone, and wonder if he even noticed how distant we had become. The silence between us felt heavy, suffocating. I remember one particular evening, staring out of the window, watching the rain tap against the glass. I sighed, feeling the weight of unfulfilled dreams pressing down on me. Was this how my life would be? A series of unremarkable days spent waiting for something, anything, to change, too. It was then that I realized I was standing at a crossroads, but I didn't know which path to take. I wanted to fight for us, but I also craved something more. Jake was a good man, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was missing something essential. Maybe it was the excitement of the unknown, or the thrill of being desired. I often found myself daydreaming about what it would feel like to be swept off my feet again. That longing was a secret I kept hidden from Jake, buried under layers of obligation and routine. The thought of hurting him was unbearable, 
yet the thought of remaining stagnant was equally painful. I tried to focus on the good moments we shared, but they felt like fleeting shadows of what once was. Let's go out this weekend, Jake suggested one day, his eyes bright with hope. Just you and me. I nodded, forcing a smile, but inside, I felt a knot tightening in my stomach. What if it wasn't enough? I wanted to scream at him, to tell him that I was suffocating, but the words never came. Instead, I simply agreed, feeling a sense of duty to keep our family together. Yet, as we continued our daily lives, the ache within me grew stronger. I watched couples around me who seemed genuinely happy, and I couldn't help but wonder what was wrong with us. I needed something to break the monotony, something that would remind me that I was still alive, still capable of feeling. That's when I met Alex. It was an unexpected encounter at that little cafe in Seattle, a place I would never have imagined would change everything. As I sat there, lost in my thoughts, I noticed him across the room. There was something in his gaze, an intensity that pulled me in. Our eyes met, and for a brief moment, the world around us faded. I felt a jolt of electricity, a reminder of what it was like to feel wanted. But as much as I tried to shake off the sensation, the question lingered in my mind. What was I doing there, away from Jake? The guilt washed over me like a cold wave, but it didn't drown out the excitement thrumming in my veins. I turned my gaze back to my coffee, but I couldn't ignore the magnetic pull that Alex seemed to exert. I tried to convince myself it was just a fleeting moment, a spark that would fizzle out. But deep down, I knew I craved more. I wanted to break free from the chains of my routine to explore the possibilities that life had to offer. Yet, every time I thought about Jake waiting for me at home, the weight of my commitment bore down on me, a reminder of the promises I had made. As I returned to the mundane chatter with Jake, I couldn't shake off the memory of Alex's enigmatic smile. I was haunted by the thought of what could be, the tantalizing possibility of a life filled with passion and adventure. But the reality of my marriage loomed large, a constant reminder of the choices I had made. I was trapped in a world of my own making, yearning for something I couldn't quite name. I often found myself at a crossroads, teetering between the life I had and the one I desperately desired. I wanted to feel alive again, to know what it was like to be truly seen and desired. But with every glance in the mirror, I saw the reflection of a woman torn between loyalty and longing. Would I have the courage to chase after that spark? Or would I remain shackled to a love that had long since faded? The answer felt just out of reach, tantalizingly close, yet impossibly far away. I remember that day vividly, the air thick with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the sound of laughter mingling with the clinking of cups. I had stepped into the cafe, seeking a moment of solace away from the monotony of my life with Jake. My heart raced as I looked around, but everything fell silent when my gaze locked onto him. Alex. He was sitting alone at a table nearby, his dark hair slightly tousled, an intriguing smile playing on his lips. The world around me faded as I felt an undeniable pull towards him. It was strange, really, how a single look could send shivers down my spine. There he was, a man whose presence felt electric, and I was merely a woman trying to escape the routine of my marriage. I hesitated for a moment, my mind racing with thoughts of Jake, who was probably at home, oblivious to my growing restlessness. Why was I here? What was I doing so far from the safety of my life with him? Before I could talk myself out of it, Alex stood up and approached me. My breath caught in my throat as he drew closer. Hi, I'm Alex, he said, his voice smooth and inviting. Would you like to join me for a drink? I felt a rush of adrenaline course through me, mixing with a thrill I hadn't experienced in years. Uh, sure, I replied my heart pounding. I followed him back to his table, my mind screaming at me to think of Jake, to remember the promises we had made. But there was something about Alex that ignited a spark within me, 
a flame I thought had long been extinguished. As we talked, the conversation flowed effortlessly. He was charming and funny, and I found myself laughing in a way I hadn't in ages. What brings you to this cafe? He asked, leaning closer, his eyes searching mine. I felt my cheeks flush under his gaze. I just needed a break from... life, I guess, I admitted, glancing down at my cup, suddenly aware of the weight of my words. It's been... complicated. He nodded, his expression understanding. Complicated can be good sometimes. It can lead to unexpected adventures. I swallowed hard. Adventure was exactly what I craved. My heart raced as I considered his words, the thrill of stepping outside my comfort zone. What do you mean by that? I asked, my curiosity piqued. Sometimes you just have to take a leap. Life is too short to hold back, he replied, a hint of mischief in his smile. His words wrapped around me like a warm blanket, igniting a desire I thought I had buried deep within me. Before I knew it, I was leaning in closer, sharing stories and secrets. The barriers I had built around my heart slowly crumbling. The laughter became softer, the air heavy with unspoken tension. I could feel his gaze on me, and it made me feel alive in a way I hadn't for years. Then, he asked, How do you feel about taking that leap now? I hesitated, my mind racing with thoughts of Jake, but the thrill of the unknown was intoxicating. I... I don't know, I stammered, my heart pounding. Just one drink then, no strings attached, just a moment to escape, he urged, his voice low and inviting. I looked into his eyes, the intensity of his gaze making my heart race. What was I doing? But standing up and leaving felt like too much. I felt trapped in my own life, and this moment with Alex was the first breath of fresh air I had in so long. Okay, I finally said, surprising myself. Just one drink. As we stepped outside, the cool air hit my skin, sending a shiver down my spine. I followed him to a nearby bar, my heart racing with anticipation and guilt. The tension between us was palpable, and I could feel my resolve wavering with every glance he threw my way. We took a seat in a dim corner, the atmosphere warm and intimate. I watched as he ordered drinks, his confidence captivating. So, tell me more about you, he said, leaning in closer, his eyes sparkling with genuine interest. I found myself opening up, sharing pieces of my life that I had kept locked away. I've been married for a while, but things aren't what they used to be, I confessed, my voice barely above a whisper. He watched me intently, his expression softening. Sometimes, people grow apart. It doesn't mean you're a bad person for wanting more, he said gently. His words struck a chord within me, igniting a longing I had buried beneath layers of duty and expectation. I felt a warmth spreading through me mixing with the alcohol as I leaned back in my chair, slightly intoxicated by the thrill of being seen and heard. As the night wore on, the conversations flowed like the drinks, and I felt a connection growing between us. It was dangerous and exhilarating, a reminder of what it felt like to be desired. I could see the way his gaze lingered on my lips, and I could feel the heat radiating between us. Do you want to get out of here? he asked suddenly, his voice low and filled with allure. My heart raced at the suggestion. I glanced down at my phone, surprised by how late it had become. I should have been heading home, back to Jake and the life I had built. But the thought of leaving this moment, this connection, felt unbearable. Okay, I whispered, my voice trembling with the weight of my decision. As we stood up to leave, I could feel the electricity between us crackling in the air. The thrill of the unknown enveloped me, and for the first time in a long time, I felt alive. I knew I was stepping into uncharted territory, but I couldn't shake the feeling that this was exactly where I was meant to be, even if just for tonight. I felt a rush of anticipation as I raised my glass, 
the crisp sound of it clinking against Alex's resonating in my ears. Our eyes locked, and I could feel the electric connection between us. It was as if the world around us faded away, leaving just the two of us in that moment. When our hands brushed against each other, it sent a jolt through my body, stirring something deep within me that I had thought was long dormant. Two new beginnings, Alex said, his voice low and smooth, a hint of mischief dancing in his eyes. I couldn't help but smile, my heart racing at the unspoken promise that hung in the air. To new beginnings, I echoed, my voice barely above a whisper. The weight of my life with Jake felt heavy on my shoulders, a constant reminder of the choices I had made and the promises I had once vowed to keep. Yet here I was, standing on the precipice of something thrilling and frightening. As I took a sip, the cool liquid slid down my throat, but it was the heat radiating from Alex that truly warmed me. I could feel the tension in the air, a charged atmosphere that made my skin tingle. Every moment we spent together felt like a step further away from the life I had built. And yet, it was intoxicating. What are you thinking? He asked, his gaze piercing through me, searching for answers I wasn't ready to give. I hesitated, feeling the weight of my reality pressing against my conscience. I... I don't know, I replied, my heart pounding. This is all so unexpected. You don't have to be afraid, he said softly, leaning closer. I'm not here to complicate your life. I just want to know you. His words wrapped around me like a warm blanket, and I felt a flicker of hope ignite inside me. It was a feeling I hadn't experienced in a long time. I was drawn to him like a moth to a flame, the thrill of the unknown pulling me in. It felt wrong, but it also felt so right. As our conversation flowed, I could feel the walls I had built around my heart begin to crumble. We laughed and shared stories, each exchange drawing us closer. I found myself leaning in, hanging on to every word he said, intoxicated by the warmth of his presence. It was as if we were the only two people in the world, and for the first time in ages, I felt truly alive. Then it happened. Our hands brushed again, this time lingering for an eternity. The warmth of his skin against mine sent shivers down my spine, and I felt a rush of desire wash over me. The guilt that had been gnawing at me shifted into something else. Something I had almost forgotten existed. That was... Electric, I said, my voice barely above a whisper, my heart racing. It was he replied, his eyes darkening with something I had no name for. There's something between us, isn't there? I nodded, my breath hitching in my throat. I could feel the weight of my choices hanging over me like a storm cloud, but at that moment, all I could think about was how alive he made me feel. Alex, I started, my voice trembling. I shouldn't be here. I have a husband. He reached out, his fingers brushing against my hand. But are you happy? Really happy? His question hung in the air, and I felt a lump form in my throat. The truth was, I had been feeling trapped in a life that no longer fulfilled me. Jake and I had once shared a passionate love, but over the years, it had faded into a dull routine. I don't know, I admitted, tears prickling at the corners of my eyes. I feel like I'm just going through the motions. Alex's gaze softened, and in that moment, I saw understanding reflected in his eyes. You're not alone, you know. You deserve to feel alive again. I wanted to believe him, wanted to surrender to the wild pull of my heart, but guilt tugged at me like a heavy anchor. Yet, as the minutes passed, the tension grew thicker, and the air became charged with unspoken desire. It was as if the universe was conspiring to bring us together, to ignite a flame that had been extinguished in my heart for far too long. Then, without thinking, I leaned in closer, my breath mingling with his. 
What if I did want to feel alive? I whispered, my heart racing. A smirk played at the corners of his lips. Then let me show you. In that instant, the world around us faded into nothingness. All I could see was Alex. All I could feel was the heat radiating between us. I made my choice, one that would change everything. I closed the distance between us, our lips barely grazing each other. The moment was electric. A spark ignited, and I felt a rush of adrenaline coursing through me. I was terrified, exhilarated, and utterly alive. There was no turning back now. The decision to follow Alex to his apartment felt impulsive, yet at that moment, it seemed like the only choice I could make. As I stepped inside, the ambient warmth enveloped me. Soft music played in the background, setting a mood that felt both inviting and dangerous. I looked around, taking in the dim lighting that cast gentle shadows on the walls. Everything felt intimate, like a secret just waiting to be uncovered. Do you want something to drink? Alex asked, his voice low and smooth. I nodded, suddenly aware of the butterflies fluttering in my stomach. I tried to focus on the moment, to ignore the nagging thought of Jake waiting for me at home. As Alex poured two glasses of wine, I couldn't help but feel a magnetic pull towards him. The way he moved, the confidence he exuded, it was intoxicating. I glanced around his apartment, filled with art and books, and for the first time in a long while, I felt a sense of excitement. Here you go, he said, handing me a glass. Our fingers brushed, and I felt a surge of electricity shoot through me. I looked up into his eyes, and for a moment, the world outside faded away. Cheers, I said, forcing a smile despite the whirlwind of emotions inside me. We clinked our glasses softly, and I could feel the tension hanging in the air. As we settled into a small sofa, I couldn't shake the feeling of being in a dream. You know, I didn't expect to meet someone like you today, Alex confessed, his gaze steady on mine. It's like a breath of fresh air. I felt my cheeks flush. I wasn't expecting it either, I admitted, my voice barely above a whisper. The weight of my reality pressed down on me. But in this moment, it felt like a distant memory. The conversation flowed easily, each word drawing us closer. We talked about our passions, our dreams, and the things that made us who we were. I found myself laughing, genuinely enjoying his company, and for the first time in forever, I felt alive. Tell me something, Alex said, leaning closer, his eyes searching mine. What is it that you really want? The question hung in the air, heavy with meaning. My heart raced as I considered my answer. I wanted to scream that I wanted freedom, that I wanted to feel alive without the weight of my marriage holding me back. But instead, I found myself hesitating. I... I'm not sure. I finally replied, my voice trembling slightly. I've been so focused on what I'm supposed to want, I've forgotten what I truly desire. Maybe it's time to rediscover that, he suggested, his voice soothing. I felt his hand brush against mine again, and I shivered at the contact. In that moment, the barrier between us seemed to dissolve. I leaned in closer, drawn by an undeniable urge. The space between us evaporated, and suddenly, I was aware of his warmth, his scent, everything about him igniting a fire within me. Alex, I whispered, but before I could say more, he closed the distance. Our lips met in a soft but electric kiss, and everything else faded away. I was lost in the moment, the kiss deepening as the world outside ceased to exist. I pulled back, breathless, my mind racing. What are we doing? Just enjoying the moment, he replied, his gaze intense. Just let go. And just like that, the walls I had built around myself began to crumble. I found myself kissing him again, my hands tangling in his hair as he pulled me closer. The passion between us was palpable, a fire that consumed any lingering doubts I had. 
I knew I should have stopped, that I should have thought about Jake. But in this moment, I didn't want to think at all. I wanted to feel, to embrace the thrill of being desired. As we sank deeper into the kiss, I could feel the weight of everything I was leaving behind. The guilt, the fear, the responsibility. It all melted away. In his arms, I felt free, alive, and wanted. Let's move to the bedroom, Alex suggested, his voice husky with need. I nodded, my heart racing as he took my hand and led me down the dimly lit corridor. The bedroom was filled with soft lighting, casting a warm glow that felt almost heavenly. I could feel my heart pounding as he turned to face me, his expression filled with a mix of desire and tenderness. Are you sure? he asked, his voice low and serious. I hesitated for a split second, the reality of what I was about to do crashing over me like a wave. But as I looked into his eyes, I saw a promise of something I had been missing for far too long. I'm sure, I breathed. And as the final barrier fell away, I surrendered completely to the moment, to the passion that enveloped us both. In that intimate space, with the shadows dancing around us, I let go of everything that held me back. I was no longer a wife, a partner. I was simply me. And in that moment, I was ready to discover what it meant to truly feel alive. As secret encounters became my new reality, a thrilling yet terrifying dance of deception. I still remember the thrill of those stolen moments, whispers of love exchanged in hushed tones. Every glance we shared felt charged with electricity, and every kiss was a secret promise that ignited the fire within me. During the day, I found myself lost in thought, replaying our encounters over and over in my mind. I would sit in the office, pretending to focus on reports, but my thoughts always drifted back to Alex. The way he looked at me with those piercing blue eyes made my heart race. I had never felt such intense attraction before. It was intoxicating, a drug I craved more of. But in the quiet moments at home with Jake, I struggled to maintain the facade of normalcy. The weight of my secret felt like a heavy cloak I wore, suffocating me. Jake would often ask about my day, and I would give him the same rehearsed answers. Just work, love. Busy as always. His smile would reassure me, but deep down, I was crumbling inside. One afternoon, as I sat on our couch scrolling through my phone, I received a message from Alex. It was simple, yet bold. I can't stop thinking about you. My heart skipped a beat. The thrill of knowing he felt the same ignited something within me. I quickly glanced at the front door, half expecting Jake to walk in at any moment. I typed back, my fingers trembling with excitement. Me too. When can I see you again? As the days went by, we exchanged messages that grew bolder, more daring. There was a rush in every word, a spark that made my heart race. Let's meet tomorrow, he suggested one evening. I want to see you. A shiver of anticipation ran down my spine. I glanced at Jake, who was engrossed in his own world blissfully unaware of the storm brewing inside me. Okay, I replied, my heart pounding. Where? Somewhere quiet, just us. The thrill of the unknown was exhilarating. I spent the night tossing and turning, the excitement keeping me awake. I could hardly believe I was about to embark on something so reckless. The next day, I found myself in a quaint little cafe, the aroma of coffee swirling around me as I waited for Alex. My heart raced as I spotted him walking toward me. He flashed that charming smile, and for a moment, everything else faded away. We spent hours talking, our conversation flowing effortlessly. Each laugh we shared felt like a stolen moment, a piece of my life that belonged only to us. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow around us, I felt the familiar thrill of anticipation. Let's get out of here, Alex suggested, his voice low and inviting. 
I nodded, my heart racing with the thrill of what was to come. In the following weeks, our encounters became a whirlwind of passion and secrecy. Each meeting was filled with stolen kisses and whispered confessions. I felt alive in ways I hadn't in years. But with every moment of bliss came the weight of my betrayal. I often caught myself wondering what Jake would think if he knew. The guilt gnawed at me, but the excitement of being with Alex was intoxicating. I remember one afternoon in particular. We were at a park, sitting on a bench, the sun shining down on us. I leaned in to kiss him, feeling the rush of desire flood through me. What are we doing? I whispered, pulling back slightly. He looked into my eyes, his expression serious. We're living, aren't we? His words sent a shiver down my spine. I wanted to believe him, to embrace the thrill of our secret. But the reality of my life with Jake lingered like a shadow, always there, always reminding me of the choices I had made. Even as I enjoyed those moments with Alex, I found it increasingly difficult to keep up the charade at home. Jake started to notice. You seem distant lately, he said one evening. Is everything okay? His concern twinged at my conscience. Just tired from work, I lied, forcing a smile. It's been a long week. He nodded, but I could see the doubt in his eyes. I felt like a ghost, drifting between two worlds, each one pulling me in opposite directions. As the days turned into weeks, I found myself caught in a whirlwind of emotions, passion, excitement, guilt, and fear. I hungered for Alex, and every moment spent with him only deepened my desire. It was a dangerous game we played, a dance on the edge of a knife. But with every stolen moment came the fear of being discovered. I craved the thrill of our secret, but the thought of Jake finding out sent chills down my spine. What would happen if he knew? Would he hate me? Would I lose everything? Yet, despite the risks, I couldn't help but be drawn to Alex. The way he looked at me made me feel alive, desired in a way I hadn't felt in years. I was caught in a tempest of emotions, torn between love and betrayal, exhilaration and guilt. And as I lay in bed at night, my mind racing with thoughts of Alex, I knew I was playing with fire. But the flames were too enticing to resist. I still remember that weekend, the one that felt like a dream and a nightmare all at once. It was early Friday evening when Alex suggested we escape to a seaside hotel. The idea sent shivers down my spine, a mix of excitement and guilt swirling inside me. I had to come up with a believable lie for Jake, something that would keep him from questioning my absence. It's just a work trip, I told him, forcing a smile that I hoped looked genuine. I'll be back Sunday evening. Jake nodded, his eyes glued to his phone, unaware of the storm brewing beneath my calm exterior. As I drove away, the sunset painted the sky with hues of orange and pink. My heart raced, a strange cocktail of fear and exhilaration. The thought of lying to Jake weighed heavily on me, but the allure of being with Alex was intoxicating. I had never felt so alive, and I was desperate to cling to that feeling, even if it meant stepping further into the shadows. When I arrived at the hotel, the salty breeze greeted me, wrapping around me like a familiar embrace. Alex was already there, waiting for me in the lobby. He smiled when he saw me, his eyes sparkling with mischief. You made it, he said, his voice low and inviting. I almost didn't, I admitted, feeling a flutter of nerves. I had to think on my feet. Good thing you did, he replied, leaning closer, his breath brushing against my ear. I've been counting down the minutes. We made our way to the room, and the moment the door closed behind us, the atmosphere shifted. It felt like the world outside had vanished, leaving just the two of us in a bubble of secrecy. I could hear the waves crashing against the shore, a soundtrack to our reckless adventure. Are you ready for this? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. I nodded, my heart pounding. As ready as I'll ever be.
The first kiss was electric, igniting every nerve in my body. It was a collision of desire and desperation, a moment where everything else faded away. I felt the weight of my life with Jake slip away, replaced by the thrill of being with Alex. We spent the entire weekend wrapped up in each other, losing ourselves in stolen moments. I could hardly remember the last time I had felt this free. Each laugh, each touch, was a reminder of everything I was missing in my life. On Saturday, we walked along the beach, hand in hand, the wind tangling my hair. I can't believe we're doing this, I said, looking at him. The sun glimmered off the water, and I felt a rush of happiness wash over me. Why not? He replied, stopping to pull me closer. Life is too short to hold back. We deserve this. As the sun dipped below the horizon, we found ourselves on the balcony of our room, the ocean stretching out before us. This is perfect, I breathed, leaning against the railing. It can be our little secret, he said, his eyes searching mine. No one has to know. The thrill of the weekend was intoxicating, but with each moment that passed, a nagging sense of fear crept in. What if Jake found out? What if everything came crashing down? But the thought of leaving all of this behind felt impossible. I was caught in a web of passion and guilt, and every thread pulled me deeper into Alex's world. At night, we would lie in bed, the sheets twisted around us, our bodies tangled. Do you regret it? He asked one evening, his fingers tracing patterns on my skin. No, I whispered, the truth spilling out before I could stop it. But I feel like I'm living a lie. Maybe it's time to change that, he suggested, his gaze intense. You don't have to go back to that life. But I couldn't entertain those thoughts. Jake was still my husband, and despite the cracks in our relationship, I couldn't just walk away. Yet, every moment with Alex ignited a longing for more. A life free from secrets and shame. As the weekend drew to a close, I felt a mix of dread and longing. I knew I had to return to my reality, to Jake, who was waiting for me with open arms. But the thought of leaving Alex felt like tearing a part of myself away. On the drive home, the weight of the weekend settled heavily on my shoulders. I replayed every moment in my mind. The laughter, the kisses, the way he made me feel alive. But as I pulled into our driveway, the guilt washed over me like a cold wave. Jake was waiting at the door, a smile on his face, completely unaware of the storm brewing in my heart. I forced a smile back, feeling the duality of my life crash against each other. The thrill of what I had experienced with Alex clashed violently with the reality of my life with Jake. Welcome back, he said, pulling me into a hug. Thanks. I replied, trying to sound casual. But inside, I felt like a stranger in my own skin, torn between two worlds that could never coexist. The weekend had changed me, but I had no idea how to navigate the path ahead. Returning to my everyday life felt like stepping back into a cage I had momentarily escaped. The thrill of those stolen moments with Alex still danced in my mind, but reality had a way of crashing down grounding me in guilt. As I walked through the door of our apartment, the familiar scent of Jake's cologne hit me. It was a smell that used to comfort me, but now felt suffocating. Hey, you're back early, Jake called from the living room, his voice warm and inviting. I forced a smile, the kind that didn't quite reach my eyes. Yeah, I just didn't feel like staying out, I replied my voice lacking conviction. He looked up from his laptop, a slight crease forming on his forehead. Everything okay? You seem a bit off. Just tired, I guess, I said, hoping my vague answer would satisfy him. Inside, I was a storm of emotions, battling between the guilt of my infidelity and the exhilaration I felt when I thought of Alex. Jake nodded, returning to his work but I could sense the tension hanging in the air. I made my way to the kitchen, trying to distract myself with mundane tasks. 
but it was impossible to shake the feeling of impending doom. Each clatter of dishes felt like a countdown, reminding me that I was living a lie. The questions kept swirling in my mind. How long could I keep this up? What would happen if Jake found out? I didn't want to hurt him, but the thought of giving up Alex made my heart race with dread. Later that evening, as we settled on the couch to watch a movie, Jake leaned in closer, his warmth almost comforting. I felt like I was betraying him even more by letting myself enjoy this moment. You know, I've been thinking about us, he said, his voice low and serious. Us? I echoed, trying to sound casual. Yes, I feel like we've been a bit distant lately. Maybe we need to plan a weekend getaway, just the two of us? He suggested, hope shining in his eyes. My heart sank. The idea of spending a weekend with him felt wrong, like a betrayal to what I had shared with Alex. That sounds nice, I replied, forcing a smile. Inside, I was screaming. How could I possibly go away with him when I was planning my next encounter with Alex? After the movie, I excused myself, claiming I needed to finish some work. In reality, I needed to be alone. I pulled out my phone, my fingers trembling as I typed a message to Alex. Can we talk? I need to see you. His reply came almost instantly. I've been waiting for you to say that. When? Just as I was about to reply, I heard Jake's footsteps approaching. I quickly locked my phone and put it away, my heart racing. What are you working on? He asked, peering over my shoulder. Just some emails. I lied forcing myself to focus on the screen. All right, I'll let you be. Just remember, I'm here if you need to talk, he said softly, and I felt another wave of guilt wash over me. That night, sleep was elusive. I tossed and turned, my mind racing with thoughts of Alex and the life I was leading with Jake. The contrast was stark. With Jake, I felt secure, but trapped. With Alex, I felt alive but it was built on a foundation of deceit. The next day was a blur of anxiety and anticipation. I couldn't concentrate at work, my thoughts drifting back to Alex. The way he looked at me, the way his touch ignited something deep within me. I wanted to feel that way again, but at what cost? When I finally met Alex later that week, the tension between us was palpable. We sat in a secluded corner of a bar, our eyes locked, the world around us fading away. You look like you've been carrying the weight of the world, he said, his voice low and filled with concern. I feel like I am, I admitted, the truth spilling out. I'm so torn, Alex. I love Jake. But what we have is... It's different. It's intoxicating. I know, he replied, reaching across the table to grasp my hand. But you have to decide what you truly want. You can't keep living in two worlds. As his thumb brushed over my knuckles, I felt a thrill shoot through me, mingled with guilt. I know I should be honest with him, but the thought terrifies me, I confessed. Then we need to figure this out together, he said, his gaze penetrating. You deserve to be happy, but you have to make a choice. The ultimatum hung in the air, heavy and suffocating. I felt like the walls were closing in. But as I sat there with Alex, I also felt an undeniable pull toward him, a desire that was impossible to ignore. Walking back to my car, I felt the weight of his words pressing down on me. I was at a crossroads, and every step I took was leading me further away from the life I had built with Jake. The thrill of deception was exhilarating, yet the guilt gnawed at me, a constant reminder of the consequences that awaited. Tomorrow, I would face Jake again, but I knew deep down that I was standing on the edge of a decision that would change everything. The thought both terrified and excited me. Would I continue to live a lie, or would I confront the truth? The question haunted me, but one thing was certain— I was no longer the same person who had walked into that cafe weeks ago. 
I couldn't shake the feeling that my world was slowly twisting out of control. Even in the bright light of day, the memories of the previous night with Alex clung to me like a shadow. It was intoxicating and terrifying all at once. The moments we spent together replayed in my mind like a vivid film, each scene more thrilling than the last. I found myself daydreaming about him during work meetings, while waiting for the kettle to boil, even while sitting across from Jake at dinner. I had never been one to fantasize, but Alex changed everything. His laughter echoed in my ears, his charming smile igniting a fire I hadn't felt in years. Could I really give up my life with Jake for a man I barely knew? Each time I thought of Alex, I felt a mix of exhilaration and guilt that made my stomach churn. I was living two lives, one where I was the perfect wife and another where I was simply me. The phone buzzed on my desk, pulling me from my thoughts. It was a text from Alex, a simple invitation. How about another drink tonight? Just us. My heart raced at the thought. I knew I should say no. I should be home, cooking dinner for Jake and pretending everything was normal. But the thrill of defiance surged through me. I replied, yes, I'd love that. As evening approached, I felt like I was standing on the edge of a cliff, ready to leap into the unknown. I glanced at my reflection in the mirror, adjusting my hair, trying to look casual, yet alluring. The dress I wore hugged my curves perfectly, and for the first time in a long time, I felt beautiful. I was excited but terrified. What was I doing? When I arrived at the bar, Alex was already there, waiting. He looked up as I walked in, and that same spark ignited between us. You came, he said, a grin spreading across his face. I almost didn't, I admitted, taking a seat across from him. I mean, this is all so... complicated. He leaned in, his voice low and inviting. Sometimes, complicated is worth it. Just look at us. As the night wore on, we talked about everything and nothing at all. I found myself laughing more than I had in ages. His presence was intoxicating, like a fine wine that warmed me from the inside out. I couldn't help but lean closer, drawn to him like a moth to a flame. Tell me something, he said suddenly, his eyes searching mine. What do you really want? The question hung in the air, heavy with meaning. My heart raced. The truth was, I wanted him. I wanted the thrill of being with someone who made me feel alive. But I couldn't say that. I want... to feel free, I finally answered, my voice barely above a whisper. He reached across the table, his fingers brushing against mine. You deserve to be happy, you know. Life is too short for regrets. The electricity between us was palpable, and I felt a rush of desire. I wanted to lean in, to close the distance between us, to taste the sweetness of his lips against mine. But the thought of Jake loomed in the back of my mind, a dark cloud over this beautiful moment. Alex, I... I began, but he interrupted me. Just for tonight, let's forget about everything else, he urged, his thumb stroking the back of my hand. Let's just be us. I hesitated, my heart torn. I wanted to give in to the desire that was consuming me, but guilt clawed at my insides. What if we get caught? He chuckled softly, his eyes sparkling with mischief. What if we do? Sometimes being caught is the most exciting part. I couldn't help but smile at his carefree attitude. For a moment, I ached for that kind of freedom, a life without the weight of expectations. You make it sound so easy, I replied, my voice tinged with longing. Because it can be, he said, leaning closer. But it starts with you. You have to decide what you really want. His words resonated deeply within me, igniting a flicker of courage. Maybe I didn't have to live in fear anymore. Maybe I could embrace this new chapter, however reckless it might be. I could feel the walls I had built around my heart beginning to crumble, brick by brick. Let's go somewhere else, I said suddenly, 
surprising myself. Somewhere we can really talk. He raised an eyebrow, intrigued. Are you sure? Absolutely. We left the bar, walking side by side through the bustling streets of Seattle. The city was alive, and so was I. The thrill of what we were doing sent shivers down my spine. We found a small, secluded park and sat on a bench under the soft glow of a nearby street lamp. I've been thinking about you all day, I confessed, my heart racing. I can't help it. Alex turned to me, his expression serious. You're not alone in that. I feel the same way. There was a moment of silence as we absorbed the weight of his words. The air was thick with anticipation, and I could see the desire mirrored in his gaze. I knew I was standing at a crossroads, and every instinct in my body urged me to take a step forward. Can I kiss you? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. I nodded, my heart pounding in my chest. As his lips met mine, it was like a dam breaking. All the pent-up longing and desire surged forth, drowning out every doubt. I melted into him, losing myself in the taste of his lips, the warmth of his body. In that moment, the rest of the world faded away. I was no longer someone's wife or a woman living a lie. I was just me, wrapped in the arms of a man who made me feel alive. I didn't care about the consequences. I didn't care about anything but this moment. As we pulled away, breathless and electrified, I knew this was just the beginning. My heart was racing, not from fear, but from the thrill of what lay ahead. I was ready to embrace whatever came next, even if it meant risking everything I had. I stood outside Alex's apartment, my heart racing in a way I hadn't felt in years. The city lights flickered in the distance, but all I could focus on was the warmth emanating from the space behind that door. I hesitated for just a moment, my mind flashing to Jake, sitting at home, unaware of the storm brewing within me. But the pull was too strong. I couldn't turn back now. As I pushed the door open, the soft glow of the lamp welcomed me, casting a golden hue over Alex's living room. He stood there, leaning casually against the wall, a smirk playing on his lips as he took me in. You came, he said, his voice a low rumble that sent shivers down my spine. I had to, I replied, trying to sound confident despite the whirlwind of emotions churning inside me. The air was thick with an unspoken tension, a promise of what was to come. He stepped closer, and I could feel the heat radiating off him. I've been thinking about you, he admitted, his gaze locking onto mine, as if he could see straight through to my soul. You've been on my mind since that first day at the cafe. I swallowed hard. Me too. The words slipped out before I could second-guess myself. It felt good to finally say it, to acknowledge the undeniable connection that had blossomed between us. His hand brushed against mine, igniting a spark that made my breath hitch. I'm glad you're here, he murmured, his voice dropping to a whisper. I've wanted this for so long. I could feel my heart pounding, a mix of excitement and fear. I was stepping into uncharted territory, leaving behind the familiar, the safe. What if this is a mistake? I asked, the words tasting bitter on my tongue. Alex stepped closer, his gaze unwavering. What if it isn't? What if it's everything you've been missing? I looked into his eyes, searching for any hint of doubt, but all I found was desire. It was intoxicating. I don't want to hurt Jake, I admitted, the guilt creeping back in. Then don't think about him, Alex said, his voice firm yet soothing. Just be here with me. Let's forget everything else, even if it's just for tonight. I hesitated for just a moment, torn between the life I had built and this thrilling new path before me. But as I stood there, with Alex so close I could feel his warmth, I knew I had already made my choice. Okay, I said, the word escaping my lips like a sigh of relief. Just for tonight. His smile widened, and in an instant, 
the distance between us vanished. He wrapped his arms around me, pulling me into a fierce embrace that felt like coming home. I melted against him, allowing myself to be swept away in the moment. The world outside ceased to exist. Let me show you how good this can be, he whispered, his breath warm against my ear. As he kissed me, I felt a rush of exhilaration wash over me. This was wrong, yes, but it felt so right. I kissed him back, surrendering to the heat and intensity of our connection. Our mouths moved together, exploring, tasting, igniting something deep within me that I had thought was lost forever. God, you're incredible, he breathed, his hands tangling in my hair, pulling me even closer. I laughed softly, the sound tinged with nervousness. I'm just a mess, really. He shook his head, a serious look crossing his face. No. You're everything I've wanted. You're perfect. The sincerity in his voice made my heart flutter, and I couldn't help but lean in for another kiss, deeper this time. There was no more doubt, no more guilt, just the two of us, lost in a world that only we understood. In that moment, I forgot about Jake, about the life I had built. The only thing that mattered was Alex and the way he made me feel, alive, wanted, and free. As the night unfolded, we moved from the living room to his bedroom, a sanctuary filled with soft lighting and a lingering scent of sandalwood. The atmosphere was charged with an electric energy, an unspoken promise of what was to come. Are you sure? He asked, his voice low and husky as he pulled me into his arms once more. I nodded, my heart racing. Yes, I want this. And with those words, the last remnants of hesitation melted away. I surrendered to the moment, to the passion that had been building between us. I was ready to forget the world outside, to lose myself in the warmth of his embrace. As we fell onto the bed, I couldn't help but feel a sense of liberation. I was finally doing something for myself, something that made me feel alive. In Alex's arms, I felt cherished, desired, and most importantly, free from the burdens of my old life. With each touch, each kiss, the weight of my choices slipped away, leaving only the thrill of the present. I was no longer the woman trapped in a mundane existence. I was someone new, someone brave enough to seek out her own happiness, even if it came wrapped in complications. As the night wore on, we lost ourselves in each other, two souls entwined in a dance of passion and desire. I knew there would be consequences, that the morning light would bring reality crashing back down around me. But for now, all I could think about was the man beside me, the fire in his eyes, and the way he made me feel alive once more. In that moment, nothing else mattered. <laughs>